a really common problem once your kid is up and about and climbing on things and playing on the monkey bars and climbing trees and all the things that kids <laughs> should do when they're kids because they're kids is they may get an extremity injury. So let's talk about what happens with extremity injuries. This medical term fracture is just a broken bone. We use this term all the time. We throw it around. All it basically is is a broken bone. Now, what's interesting about children is children's bones are somewhat flexible because they're growing and they're not old and brittle like mm -hmm. we are as an adult. Their <laughs> bones are somewhat flexible. For a true fracture to happen in kids is a relatively uncommon, but not unheard of, but relatively uncommon phenomenon. And fractures, especially certain types of fractures, are uncommon in children and uncommon enough that it raises the worry of abuse. So there are certain things that as physicians we know to look for where there might be certain kinds of fractures in children where they just don't get those accidentally. They only happen if, some, if something happened to them that indicates they may have been abused. But certain things definitely can happen when, when kids are out and about, mm -hmm. like wrist fractures and those sorts of things can definitely occur. When should you worry that your child who just tumbled you know, off the monkey bars may have a fracture? Well, if the, if the extremity doesn't look the way it looked when it started, right. if things are just kind of aiming the wrong direction or you know, deformed a bit, that's a sign that there may be a fracture. Or if the child won't use the limb. So if it's a child who's a tiny child and they just, you bring them back from the babysitter and they're not using an arm the same way. That, especially if it, they cry when you touch it, that may be a sign that there actually is a fracture. And again, if it came from the babysitter and there's not a good explanation of what happened there, you have to worry a little bit about the potential for abuse. And then any swelling or tenderness at the site of the injury is also a sign of the potential fracture mm -hmm. that they may have suffered. Mm -hmm. So what do you do if you think your child may have suffered a fracture, may have fallen off the monkey bars, maybe you see a deformity, maybe your child's not wanting to use the arm. Forced, get some cool, something cool, an ice pack or some type of ice in a bag, wrap it in a towel and place it on the area that you think is injured. It's going to help with the pain. You want to try to immobilize that area, that arm. He's not going to want to move it to begin with and you want to help them not move it. Lay it either on a pillow, make some type of makeshift sling so that child doesn't have to move that arm. It's really going to help with the pain a lot. If you see a deformity, don't try to straighten it out. Just leave it as it lays. Lie it on the pillow. Bring the child to the emergency room and let us fix your child's right. arm. Right. I mean, I've seen some very clever, I'll tell you, parents are very clever at getting right. slings and splints. And so, some of the best splints I've seen have been things like magazines, mm -hmm. just rolled into a little right. tube and or put a newspaper, around newspaper, right, tied that around. works just fine mm -hmm. and keeping it from moving around too much right. while you get the child right. in for us to see Do you think your them? child's fractured their arm, they need to go to the emergency room? Because we have things like access to orthopedics and x-rays. Yeah, we can, we can yeah. get them taken care right. of. Exactly. Now, there's a special kind of injury that occurs <laughs> to children's arms that um, some of us may actually be guilty oh, of with yeah. our own children, uh, called <laughs> nursemaid's elbow. With this, and the reason it's called nursemaid's elbow is back in the day where you had someone who took care of your children, like a nursemaid, what they may do is hold, a, a, usually a toddler, a child who's walking, maybe not terribly stably walking, and you take a step off a curb or you hit them get up onto a curb and you've grabbed their arm and you've pulled it up. What can happen is in this part of your arm, in your forearm, there are two bones that are side by side. And one of them sits in this little ligamentous circle right here in your elbow. And if you pull on that arm, you can sort of pop it out and you get what's called a subluxation. It's a fancy medical term basically for just meaning that that bone is not any, more, any longer where it belongs. It's not a fracture. It's just that it isn't where it belongs anymore. So it's either pulling of the jerking action or the airplane game, my cousins mm -hmm. uh, played the airplane game. I loved it. Grab the hands, spin around. Well, that's the kind of mechanism, the kind of way you can cause this particular type of injury. It, that's the typical reason that it occurs. Right. Or in my case, what I did, I had a nine-month-old, my daughter. She loved to be on her back, and we would grab her arms and her hands and feet and swing her around. She would laugh and giggle until I gave her a nursemaid elbow, and I never did it again. So it's that pulling on a very young child, either infant, toddler. Once they're in school age, they really are not at risk for this injury, but it's pulling on the arm in different situations. And a lot of times you may not even know that you, you injured the child, that you just notice all of a sudden your child is really not moving the arm at all. Right, they hold it still. Right. They just right. use so, everything else but. As Diane said, the injury is basically because of two bones and one of the bones just kind of pops out. So this little piece of tissue is now caught in the joint and the elbow really can't move. But the child is really fine otherwise. They're awake and alert and talking to us and moving the other arm, but really not wanting anybody to get near this this part of their arm. They don't want to move it. Every time they move it, flex it, extend it, 
bend it or straighten it out, it's going to hurt. This is not serious. It's not a fracture. It just needs to be put back into place with a very simple manipulation that an experienced physician is going to recognize and know how to handle. But you really need to get them to that person. So call your pediatrician, come to the emergency room, know that this can reoccur. So the, really the key is prevention. Don't do the airplane game. Don't do the swinging of your baby like I did. But know that if you accidentally do this to your own child, it's, it's not serious. It does need to be reduced. Fixed. It does need to be put back into place. But your child's going to be just fine. I was recently fine. at a hotel sort of relaxing by the pool, hiding behind my sunglasses, watching a father with his probably two-and-a-half-year-old daughter. She would get to the edge of the pool. He would grab her by her arms, mm -hmm. pull her up out of the pool, set her on the edge. She would kind of hop back in. They went, and I just was waiting for it to happen. Right. And, it did. Some it just <laughs> kids just, by the grace of God, they don't get a nurse elbow. Yes. But that is the injury. It's really pulling on the arm that, that can occur.